back to my channel. As you saw from the title, this is going to be a DIY do-it-yourself vanity mirror. My sister wanted one, so I went over to her house to help her and thought, why not film a video? So I am. And I'm just going to show you guys how easy it was. It was so affordable as well. I was surprised. I can't wait to make one for myself. So yeah, I don't want this intro to be super long, so I'm going to get right into the supplies that you need. <laughs> And then into the process and I'll also link everything down below so you can get an estimate of how much everything was and yeah uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out any and yeah keep on watching if you want to see how we did it bye guys all right guys so you'll need two extension cords two of these three light vanity bars some scissors a power drill some nails electrical tape gorilla glue and three packs of crystal clear light bulbs for the mirror measurements you'll need a 24 by 30 cut mirror piece and for the wood a 30 by 42 piece so we're just gonna start by standing the wood and making sure everything is smooth so we won't have to worry about any splinters because Lord knows those hurt <laughs> Okay, so this next step is optional. We're just going to be making a base for this vanity because she does want to stand it up on her dresser instead of hanging it up on the wall. So we're just going to be using that power drill to drill in some nails to create a good stable structure. Next you want to take the 30 by 42 piece of wood and place that on the base and secure it with Gorilla Glue or any type of strong wood glue that you do have. Okay, moving on to the fun part. We're going to be painting this whole structure white and it did take us three coats to get a good smooth finished look. So while the paint is drying, we're going to move on into the wiring part. You want to take your indoor electrical cord and cut that off just like that. Now split down the middle of the cord with some scissors and just pull it apart because we are going to use that to connect the lighting. Now slightly cut through the plastic about an inch down just like that and being careful not to cut through the wires inside because you do need that part. You just want to repeat that step one more time for the opposite cord. Okay, so there are two different sides of the cords. One cord is rigid and the other is smooth, so it's pretty easy to feel once you do have them. So take the smooth side and connect it with the black wire and intertwine them together with the twisting motion. So just make sure all of that is really tight. And then you wanna take your orange cap, which was included in the box, and just twist that onto the wires like so making sure that's secure as well. Now this next part is optional, but we're gonna take that electrical tape and use that for extra security and um, protection from the wires. And we're just gonna wrap that around the cap and the cord as well. Now take the rigid cord and connect that with the white cord and repeat all the steps previously done and make sure you cap it off at the end.
So now we're gonna take the opposite end of that same electrical cord and cut it, then split it down the middle just like we did earlier on the other side and also cut down an inch of the plastic off to get to those wires. Now taking that second electrical cord, we're going to use that again just like we used the first one and just cut one side of it like so. Okay, this part gets a little tricky, but I'm going to do my best to explain it. So instead of having two cords twisted together, you're going to have three cords. You're going to take that smooth cord from the first electrical cord and the second and intertwine that with the black wire and just make sure that's all twisted together tightly and securely. Now do the same for the rigid side, connect those all three together with the white wire and also be sure to put on the caps as well as your electrical tape if you want that step. So once you're done taping, you're going to go back to the base of the vanity and just connect those wires through the vanity. As you'll see in a second, we did lose the video footage of us putting nails into the vanity lights. However, it's pretty self-explanatory and you guys will see in the finished look. Yay, so we're finally done. It came out super cute and easy. I love the outcome. Can't wait to do my own. And if this video helped you guys out any, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.